Hey everyone, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do in this tutorial is apply a little bit of skincare, tiny bit of moisturizer here because Julie's face was already pre-moistened before she came. Next, I'm gonna use foundation and I'm dotting and pressing this all over the skin. I want to create a sheer coverage on the skin. I still want the skin to look like skin, but I want to cover any problems on the skin just create more of an even tone because Julie does have very, very lovely skin. So next we're gonna do concealer and I'm applying it in the inner portion of the eye and to any recessed areas. I'm applying it here because as most of you well know by now, this area doesn't crease when you smile. So I'm trying to keep it to areas where it's gonna look the most beautiful on the skin and also where there needs to be the most amount of brightness. And then just gonna blend this over the eyelid and under the eye with a beauty blender. Beautiful. With that complete, I'm applying a little bit of lipstick to the cheeks just to add a tiny bit of color to the cheeks and also to give a really nice base when we go in with powder blusher, which will follow shortly. Now with that complete, I'm now gonna absorb some of the excess product on the skin. Julie has dry skin, so I'm not gonna be using any powder. I'm now gonna take a contouring product from my bronzing palette and just use the bronzer side slightly to go around the perimeters of the face just to give it a little bit more structure. Judy prefers to have color in her skin, so I wanted to add just a little bit to the outside perimeters of the face. Now it's time for the blusher, popping this onto the cheek. Judy has beautiful cheeks, so it's easy to apply blusher here. I'm used doing this technique without her smiling, so I know where I'm placing the blusher, keeping it high up, and a very kind of youthful, fresh glow to the skin. Blush is one of my favorite things to do to skin. It just looks very beautiful. Next is lipstick. I know this might seem out of order, but by doing some of the lips first, it kind of gives me a idea of how far I can go with the eyes. And with this look, even though it's quite a beautiful kind of sophisticated look, I still want there to be some drama. So I'm doing the lips first just to make it a bit more gorgeous. The lightest color is being applied to the eyelid itself. And this is a very light color and I want it to stand forward. What we'll do next is blend a slightly deeper color to the outside perimeter of the eye to contour that outside corner. And then I'm gonna drag that same color right the way across the lash line. This will cover up some of that highlight color we used, but it just gives a more beautiful kind of effect. So it's not so harsh from the outside when it moves in. That's all it really is for, just a bit of continuity. Next, I'm gonna go into the crease of the eye. Now, Julie has a defined crease anyway. So I'm using the contouring portion from my bronzer palette, going into the crease and just kind of giving depth to that portion of the eye. You know, contouring the crease just does so many good things to the face, it really does. So I'm just gonna keep blending here and moving back and forward. And as you can see, it's not a really deep color. Next is Lashify. So sorry for the incredibly bad angle, but I'm applying this to Julie because she wanted to have dark, full lashes. So Lashify was and is always gonna be my favorite go-to product because it gives drama. Next is Blusher again. I'm adding a tiny bit more just to create more radiance to the skin. Now Julie said she wanted coal rimmed eyes and I'm so pleased because nothing makes me happier than doing a coal in the inner rim of the eye. I think it's really sexy. Yes, it can slightly shrink the eye, but personally for me, I think it gives a really sexy look. And you can see in a minute from Julie's kind of reaction that she just loved that effect and she really wanted it. Julie doesn't tend to play her eyes up when she does her makeup. So I wanted to do something that would please her and just make her feel, you know, as beautiful as she looks. So I love, love, love doing this technique. And that pretty much brings us to the end of this tutorial. And you'll see a lovely before and after coming up. Hope you like it. And there are also a couple of outtakes. So give Julie some love in the comments, please, because she is truly lovely. Thank you for watching. See you all soon. Bye-bye. Far. You look divine. Now I look, look straight in, you look delicious. Now look straight in the camera, right into the lens. Where's the lens? There. Ah, oh, that big thing. Yep, don't look up there. Okay. Just look right there. And that's it, just for a few seconds, just so we can get a nasty before shot. Okay, that's so mean. Right. I put about 10 different serums on today. Why? Because I thought it needed to be better than it normally is. But you look lovely. No, I don't. You do.
I've been watching videos all day about threading. What do you mean? What's this new threading thing they do? What, for your eyebrows? No, for your face. What, pull out all the hairs? No, it gives you, it like gets rid of wrinkles and stuff. Thread lift? Yes. You don't need one of those. Can we do it? Yeah, I'll get some, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get a surgical <laughs> needle out now. Won't be a sec. It hasn't got to be surgical, it wouldn't be anyone. Or knit needle? Yep. That'll work, wouldn't it? So we're done. It's still a long way away. We? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did I? You look like you've shrunk in the chair, mine slightly. It's, it's all that beating of the face. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes, darling. Okay, because you're slouching in the chair. So, if I can't, I don't know how else to sit. Well, maybe not like this. <laughs> right, darling, Evil. let's just absorb some of this day's worth of oils you've been putting on today for this video. <laughs> Love you. Yeah, that's not bad. Is that good? Nope. <laughs> right, down, chin up slightly. Thank you. I hope I'm going to boogies. Just a couple. <laughs> not too bad though. No. <laughs> Looking right healthy. Am I? No. You need to stop making me laugh. Right, darling. Can you say I was squeezing my cheeks? Why? To give myself a bit of colour. You've got issues, miss. It worked for about five minutes. You've got major issues. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say on the subject. <laughs> and they're basically still ginger. <laughs> you still can see yeah. them. <laughs> It's like, what lash, what lash tin did you use? Let's not name it, just in case. Sit up slightly for me, just because you look like you're drowning in the chair. There she is, all sat up. I love it, I think it looks, looks really sexy. It, it just looks sexy. Make sure draws them in you know your eyes look slightly smaller, but it looks like you're slightly squinting, yeah. which I think is... Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, it looks beautiful. I'm just and brown is good. Yeah, because you have a nice, gorgeous eye colour. And you do have such a pretty eye colour. Do you do them on the tops as well? Are you watching me then? I don't know if I'm doing That's it okay. right. Oh, I don't like ten now. Eh? <laughs> Both eyes. Can I do it again? That's beautiful. <laughs> that one was nice. But you can't laugh at the end. Okay. So do it again. Beautiful. Right, now take your hair out. Feel free to do whatever you want to finish off the frame. What do you mean why? We just dicked around the whole time. <laughs> That's your fault. No, not mine, yours. I thought I'd have to sit here and not speak and be sensible. No. Oh, look at that face. <laughs> look at that pretty face. Do you think I'd be all right in courtyard? Yeah, you'd be all right in court. <laughs> As a... <laughs> <laughs> Me with that stitch of makeup on. Didn't I need to brush my hair? No, I love it. It looks just, fabulous. Oh, it's messy. Oh, you look... You look lovely. And look in the mirror. Uh, look in the camera. And you know what to do. There you go. I said. <laughs>